welcome to another video and it's Sunday the 16th of July 2023 59 Fahrenheit potentially we've got blue skies but more rain forecast today and we are in Longton it's been a while since we walked around Longton so come and check it out we're looking down there uh, we've got Longton market entrance and the bridge right at the very bottom okay so look at all the things for sale here betty boot $3.99 not too bad it's not a bad morning a little bit breezy this morning i like looking at the old architecture here in Longton, brand record, wow. So you can buy your old records there. This used to be, by the looks of it, Barclays Bank, I don't know. You can see something written up there, Barclays Bank. Just look at the detail in the buildings. So you've got the old abandoned shops here. Doesn't look as though that one's been open for this before. So, what have we got here? This is like the War Memorial here in Longton. From Anchor Road to Armentieres. Hand painted murals explore Stoke on Trent during life during World War I. The Great War from 1914 to 1918. Wow, the murals are absolutely amazing, aren't they? So there's life in Stoke-on-Trent during the, the Great War. There's a map there, so Paris. All the way up to the English Channel. The iconic feature here in Longton is the main railway bridge with the old Crown Hotel behind it. It's like a homeless uh, encampment here. Again, look at the detail there. Like a homeless encampment selling uh, coats and things. So again, the main railway bridge. And we're going to head up towards the town centre. Amazing how these buildings were built. Huh? Okay, that building's in a bit of a need of uh, a paint. We're heading up Market Street now to some of the buildings here in Longton virtually falling down at the windowsill there that building used to be with all them pillars continuing his way up Market Street so this building's got trees growing out of it at the top and again look at the detail there on that one A uh, very iconic building right across there, Woolies, Woolworths. Years and years ago, that would have been absolutely bustling. Well, we can see right at the top of the hill is Gladstone Pottery. We've got one of the main shopping areas there in Longton. Specsavers on the corner. And just look at the buildings there, completely falling down. A lot of people coming out of spec savers this morning. Look at the buildings here. Again, trees growing out of it there. And this one says 1881. Cyprus Old Pottery. Well, these must have been uh, a lot of pottery factories then. And now just boarded up shops. 
So heading up to Longton East, to city centre, Stone. So I hope you're enjoying this uh, walk around Longton this morning as much as I am. Not been here for a while. So we'll uh, see what else we can explore. Little mini market, steak and shapes. Okay, this is your Toxita Road. And right in front of us there is the Gladstone Pottery Museum. Might have a look. Okay, so Gladstone Pottery. Main car park's just around the corner. Just have a quick look through these gates and see what we can see. Okay, so this is the main part of uh, Gladstone Pottery. Let's check out the old door there and the windows. We've got all the coal. Shape there of a bottle bank. You can just see the bottle banks up there. Another view just through the gates here. Okay, so this has got to be the iconic symbol of Stoke-on-Trent. So, the old bottle kilns. When you see them, you definitely know you're in Stoke-on-Trent. And just look at the uh, the clouds above me. Never been inside Gladstone Pottery since I was a kid. So maybe that's something that we should do some point. Make sure you check out the video we did uh, earlier on in the year, I think, of uh, the drone over here. It looked absolutely spectacular. Let's check how uh, like fat that is. It goes all the way up. It's getting a lot breezier. Who would have thought it's in July we're walking around with coats? Amazing. There we go, great sign. Welcome to Longton, everybody. I think this is a really good shot of Longton. Well, first of all, an abandoned building there, no windows in. Well, that's good as it goes down Market Street into the centre of uh, Longton. Just on to Commerce Street. So the back is 1877. Reaching Chancery Lane. Good view of some old bottle kilns there. Home bargains at the side. And we've got a bit of a speedy one there. He was doing a good sort of 50. Getting some good views of the bottle kills there. Tree grain out the top. And this building's definitely in some uh, need. This building has just gone to, to rack and ruin. I don't know if you can actually see in there. Wow. Broken windows. Graffiti on the wall. as though there's been a fire maybe in this one. A couple of broken glass ready to come down at you there. Such a shame because they're a beautiful building. So this is on Commerce Street. How about the pigeons have made homes in there? Check out this building right in the corner. Don't know if somebody's actually living in there. Wow, so the Crown Works, a new gateway for Longton. Over your homes. And again, just look at some of the, the buildings and what's this one, 1901. We are levelling up Stoke-on-Trent. Wow. Well, the sun's out. It's actually getting a little bit warmer now. So we're just passing Berry Lane here in Longton. Not sure where Berry Lane leads up to. I think we're coming up to the main shopping area here. So we've got the job centre on the right. Blink Recruitment. 
Wow. Biscoff McFlurries, they look good. One ninety nine. Okay, so we've got the Istanbul Barbers. All the Turkish barbers are always open on Sundays and they're packed. Amazing. Okay, let's see what we can see further down here. So then on the left hand side, the Britannia Cafe. Over this way, Butters John B. What the price of houses are there. Six hundred and fifty grand. Some of these, three hundred grand, one hundred and sixty grand, one eighty. Nice building there. Look the detail on that one. The Cricketers Arms. That used to be. Wow. Seagulls sounds like like we're in Blackpool. We're a long way from Blackpool though. Polka dot travel. What have we got here? Benny Dorm, 286 quid, Malta 467. Dominican Republic, 1200 quid each. 14 nights all inclusive. Wow. Hayes Travel. What have Hayes Travel got? Borneo, 2,669 each. Now ah, that'll do me. Los Angeles and Fiji, 2,758 per person. Okay, so this is the main shopping area called the Strand. Or Longton Exchange. Let's see what's going on in Longton Exchange today. Cash converters on the right, Poundland on the left. And there's quite a few people around on this Sunday morning. Kids showing off on the bikes here. Just about nearly hit some people there. A coffee house. Busker over there. Nice and colourful. Beautiful sunshine there. Selector's got 50% off. Yeah. No feeding of the pigeons around here. Boots on the left. Iceland down at the bottom. Card factory. Shoe zone looks as though it's closed. It's getting really warm now. Lots of things for the kids to do. Hop, skip and jump I guess. So what have we got down here? I think this used to be the back of the old Woolies. So all this green area, yeah, back of uh, what used to be Woolies. So again, this used to be absolutely bustling. So there we go, who remembers going in Woolies? 30 odd years ago. Maybe longer. 
Look at that, made in Longton. Edwardian, Edwardian fine bone china. Okay, we'll head back up into the, the shopping centre. Near the seagulls again then. So what's that? The Mooney Club. Heartbeat that keeps the town centre alive. A few dodgy characters around here. Not as bad as Hanley. Quite hungry as well. I don't know if there was uh, Greggs around here. So the Greggs would definitely be going on that one. All I can see, there was like a coffee shop across here that may be open. Apart from that, there's nowhere else to grab something to eat. Coffee out. All I found is this chocolate brownie at £2.75. Hungry side, just give it a try. Mm. Okay, feel a little bit better after having that uh, brownie. But yeah, I can't believe there's no Greggs around here. We need to get a uh, Greggs around this before the Spitfire. First flight, 5th of March 1936. RJ Mitchell. So, born close to where we live, Congleton Road, Butt Lane. Moved to Normacott. So, yeah, born 1895, moved to Normacott 1903 1906. Hanley Secondary School 1906 1911. Apprentice to Kerr Stewart Co., Locomotive Engineering Works in Fenton 1911 to 1916. Chief Engineer, Supermarine Aviation Works 1917 1937. And on the 11th of June, 1937, died at the age of 42 in Southampton, wow. Southampton, first flight, 1925. Shops ever open. Cannonball Records. Look at some of the posters there. ACDC, Iron Maiden. Wow. Long to market. And the last post. Bit of busking going on there. Yeah, he's pretty good as well. So this is adding up to home bargains in Wilco. Can't say I've ever been in Wilco for a while. Might have a look at that. See what's going on. Always like looking at the garden sections in shops. And bright things to look at. I like that gnome. 17 quid. Absolutely starving. Managed to find a calf here at Tesco. So you can get a breakfast for 5.25. Pretty good. A while for breakfast to come. Hopefully uh, we're going to be able to eat it. Glenn's at Specsavers at the moment. So uh, we'll see if I've got time. Hopefully. Waiting 10 minutes now. Still nothing. So if you come to the calf in Longton at Tesco, it's not fast. This is what the 5.95 breakfast looks like here at Tesco. Okay, so the breakfast was pretty good at Tesco. Not bad for 5.95. Time to wet the whistle now with a can of uh, sugar-free Coke. Overall, not a bad uh, morning in light. I think we've covered pretty much everywhere in Longton. So if you've enjoyed this walk around Longton on this Sunday morning in July 2023, give me a thumbs up. Of course, drop me some comments and subscribe to the channel. And we will see you on the next video, wherever that may be, soon. See you then.